make a full-fledged financial product out of it, uh, which is then listed at the Börse Stuttgart Stock Exchange in Germany. So basically, we take a trading idea, um, and uh, this brings us to the, to the idea that uh, at the end, from the social trading point of view, we have an exchange listed financial product, and that makes it now very easy for the investors to follow because they can directly invest via the noble. Okay, <laughs> from the noble. Because they can directly invest using the existing brokerage account, so they can directly invest via the normal bank. They can, so you can go as an investor, uh, you can choose a product from our platform, and then can directly invest via whatever online broker or your normal bank you have. So we took this social training idea one step further, that we not just doing a social training in terms of that someone can share his or her trades, but we are also making a financial product out of it. This, this gives advantages for both sides. On the one, on the one hand side for the investor, it, he can follow the best trading strategies, full transparent. I can show you this then in a live demo on our web page. He gets the same performance as the, as the trader itself. There are many copy trading platforms out there, but this is not the case. So if you're investing in a copy trading platform, and there is one trader and you have 5,000 followers, and on a copy trading platform, this uh, five, uh, the, the, the trade, what the trade is doing, is copied 5,000 times. So the 5,000th copy of the of the trade uh, might not have the same price as the first one. All the Wikifolio starts with 100 euro. So even with small amounts, you can directly invest in the strategies. As I always said, you can use your existing brokerage account. You don't have to open an account on our side or at any other CFD broker or whatever. And this is, I think this, these are the, the, the main two factors why we are quite successful already in Germany. You can follow every trade in real time. So without any, without any registering on our page, but I can show you that later. So the most, uh, the, the question which always comes up, why is the trader doing this? I think the main reason here is for the first time, as at the end of the, uh, at the end of the process, he has a, a, a exchange listed product. For the first time, he can build up a track record, which cannot be manipulated. Yeah? As this is a stock exchange product, you always see this in communities where people then always say, okay, the, the, the last five trades were very good, I made a 100% performance, but they're not talking about the other five trades they made beforehand, where they lost about 70%. So, uh, the track record cannot be connected cannot be changed. Um, he can of course not share his trading strategy. At the end, an instrument with an ice in his creek, based on his trading strategy, it's traded at a stock exchange, and of course, he also receives a small amount of profit share of the product or of the profit gain he's, he's making, hopefully he's, he's making. <laughs> so I think I directly switch this is not really working. I think I'll directly switch to the live web page and I can show you what I'm talking about. So this is now Wikifolio. So if you type in wikifolio.com, you will get to a page like, like that one. Um, it's very simple. The green area, that's, that's the beam, so this should be green. This should be blue. The green area is for someone who wants to invest. The blue area is for someone who wants to create a Wikifolio without any cost. Uh, so if we, for example, have a look at the strategies we currently have, you just click on in Wikifolios invest here. Then you get to the search. You can already see we have currently about 8,400 trading strategies on our platform. Now we we are, in the, we are in the Swiss mode here, now we want to just have the products which are currently uh, licensed to be sold in Switzerland. <laughs> and you can directly see, currently we, we start today with 374, we have 2,400 products currently at Börse Stuttgart. But uh, in Switzerland uh, we have to start with a set of strategies which are just investing in stocks. So this has just something to do with the taxation of the products. 
but we of course work him to, uh, to, 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 to grow also this, uh, uh, this amount of, of training strategies also for the Swiss market. So if you, look, if you look here now, you can see for example we have here, what is this Lenovo? I think Lenovo doesn't like me today. <laughs> so, uh, again, the Chinese are not Chinese. So, um, what we're looking now here in the, in, in the list, you have of course some slides, some performance slides and so on. You can see for example we have here now a strategy which is called Top Global Brands, which is already done from a uh, not from a private user, but uh, from an asset manager. But let's look uh, at the private user. For example, Matthias 76. The strange strategy is called Immobilian Firma. So I assume he is investing in real estate stocks. You can here see now the, the icing for this strategy. You can also see how much money is already following this strategy. So it's about a million euro. And you, of course, see a few performance figures. Max Drawdown minus 8.9 with a performance uh, since, uh, since the launch of 57%. So, and we issued this product in October 2014. You can see in our performance uh, feed or review, I will tell you afterwards what's that about. So you can click uh, without re registration. So I'm not registered here uh, or locked in or whatever. So everyone can just, can just uh, go to Wikifolio, again you see the chart. You see here now the actual price. So we have a bid and an ask price. So these products can always be bought and sold. So um, at the end, this is an index certificate which is being built on the on the Wikifolio. But I'll explain that a little bit later. Again, here about a million invested. This is basically a real time figure. So if anyone now wants to invest. We can see this in a few minutes. So, so um, when we when we scroll down now here, this is now this is now the idea, the trading strategy where the where this Matthias 76 basically describes what he's doing. So the portfolio is basically uh, on stocks from German real estate companies, and this is now the social part basically and the transparent part. If you click on actual portfolio. You, you can see you can see the real time allocation of the strategy. So these are real time prices. This is you can see this now popping and flashing. So we're not just showing the top ten holdings like a fund at the end of the year. You can always in real time see what he's doing in his strategy. You can see uh, all the stocks and of course the weighting in the strategy. For example, here any immobilian has nine percent. You already made plus 66% with this position. And if, we, and if you scroll down now a little bit further, you can of course also see all the historic trades he did. Wow. Again, without any delay. So he made the last trade on the 4th of March. So it's quite a mid or long term strategy. And he sold like Immobilien AG. And when we look here, this is the, one of the main parts of our community. The traders, as they are private persons, most of them, this is their only trust building element. Yeah? They are basically commenting all the trades. So you can see, uh, although he didn't make any trades uh, yesterday, he, he just posted the link and said, okay, this is the Immobilien boom or whatever, Deutsche Immobilien boom. And basically, he's, therefore, he is explaining what he's doing there. So he's explaining why he's investing in, uh, in, uh, in, in, in this real estate stocks. And we have already, we have already about 200,000 comments from our traders. So this is unique uh, content, nobody else has this. And we can directly connect this, of course. When we, this is now, you can see, obviously, it's an Allgemeine comment. So this is a comment to the Wikifolio. But of course, he can also comment to his his trades and then we can directly link this to the volume what he's basically reshuffling. So this is full this is fully transparent and you can you can easily you can easily click through any of these ideas and so we so we think that we are one of the most transparent financial products currently on the market. Um, 
Now, going back to the costs you have, that's always a very important part as well. So I, 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 I again just click the ones where we can also see. Oh yes, I just wanted to show you something else. So <clears throat> currently we have uh, we have two costs element in every Wikifolio. This also leads to the performance fee. You can see it here we have a certificate fee and we have a performance fee. So until the point of the issuance of the product, there are no costs. Basically, we are creating index certificates with no costs for the trader. So the only two fees we have here are for the investor. That the one fee is 0.95% per year. It's basically something like a management fee, certificate fee. Um, and we have something which is called performance fee. The performance fee is set by the trader. So when the trader basically creates the portfolio, he has to set the performance fee. And this performance fee says uh, this is the amount what he's getting from the profit gain. So if we, for example, if this uh, strategy now already made, I don't know, this will uh, already make 29 or something, I don't know, 20% in this year. We started this year at 108, we are currently at 129. This will be made about 50% since, since the beginning of the year. Uh, from this 50%, we basically we take out from the gain, we take out 5%. Or let's make it easier. When, when he would have chosen 10%, then it's basically 1.5% out of the out of the gain. So it's a very fair model for both sides. The trader is just being paid when he really makes profit, and you as an investor are just being, uh, you just have to pay if he really makes a profit. So if the, if the performance goes weighs down in the seller, then uh, you don't have to pay anything. It's called the high watermark principle. I have afterwards uh, a slide for that as well, so that I can again explain it a little bit more in detail. So, what happens now? Um, so, as I said beforehand, you can just, if you're now interested in, in, any, in any of these uh, strategies, just, just take the ice in or just click on the, on the button like uh, Yes, Invest Here. And you might all also see this is one of our starting partners. So, Rupa is also here, Rupa Jera, CEO of Cash. Um, uh, also show you what we are doing in terms of partnerships and networks uh, here at the Wikifolio. So that's the basic idea. We give private users, asset managers, or whoever basically the possibility to show a trading strategy and if he fulfills all the criteria, what I will show you in a minute, then uh, we, we make a product out of it. I just prepared the slides in case we are not we don't have internet yet. So again, certificate fee, performance fee, I think it's a very fair model. Uh, the trader gets 50% out of the performance fee. So if he chooses 10%, then he gets 5 and we get 5 as we for you. So this is basically uh, uh, the business model and the 0 0.95 are also going to be for you because we of course have to maintain the platform and so on. Uh, a very important point, especially when you are with quite active traders, that there are no transaction fees if you are reshuffling within a Wikifolio. So this has a huge impact on the performance, especially when you have active traders. Um, so uh, you basically can can buy and sell Daimler five times a day. You just have to know the spread what you have at the exchange, but there are no further transaction fees. So this again is the high watermark principle explained in, in, in a three day chart basically. So if on the first day every wiki for you starts at, at the 100, that's also very important so you can directly see at the price and how much uh, profit you already made. So if a, 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 a wiki for you starts at the 100 and he makes 10% or 10 points in a day and he said he wanted to have 10 percent performance fee, then we deduct this 10 percent at the end of the day and uh, uh, the product starts at 109 on the next day. On the second day it was a very, very bad day for him, so he, he falls down to 80. 
So if an investor now invests here, then of course he doesn't have to pay anything in terms of performance fee until he reaches again 110. So this might also be a strategy for someone who is looking for potential investments that he is looking on how far are they away from that performance fee or from this high water market. So now these are uh, now the fun charts for me. Um, we are quite successful. That's a very positive part, especially when we are, when we are like a, a fintech starter. <clears throat> As I already said, uh, we have about 2,300, 2,400 uh, investable portfolios currently at the Börse Stuttgart and Eubax already listed. We have already published 2.4 million trades. Um, and these two things are my most favorite ones. We've accumulated investments in weekly photo certificates of about 345 million. So uh, we started in summer 2012, so it's about two and a half years ago. Um, and uh, for a pure online, pure B2C product, which we've just launched in two markets, and now, now in, in, in our third market, I think there's uh, quite impressive fears. And um, we've already, we've already uh, triggered a trade volume or trade flow of 5.3 billion euros. So uh, this is also something where you can see on how active our traders are and how much they're reshuffling in their active strategies. <clears throat> so this is again a short, a short picture of, on, on how we reached, we started we started here in summer of 2012. Then I think in September we had 1.5 million. We were completely crazy about that. This was absolutely stunning. We thought, okay, uh, great, we are the biggest in the fintech scene. Um, then we launched Austria, and you can see Austria. <laughs> but then of course we, we, we launched Austria after Germany, although we are from Austria. Um, the Austrian regulator just wanted to let us start after the German regulator said this is fine for him. So the Austrians are always very linked to the regulation in Germany. Um, you can see also here a few names like HSBC, who, is, uh, who then became a partner uh, in our model. They are currently uh, giving us all the German structured products. We can trade all the HSBC structured products within the Wikifolios. We have currently about 50,000 products which can be traded within the Wikifolio. So we have about 2,000 stocks, ETFs, funds worldwide, and we have about 47,000, 48,000 structured products, so warrants, mini turbos, uh, short, uh, long and short, uh, discount certificates, bonus certificates, uh, and uh, we will shortly get another issue which, uh, on, on our platform. So um, we will again get about another 50,000 products. So basically there are unlimited possibilities to create trading strategies uh, at Wikifolio. So then we had our first 100 million and you can see that this was basically at the end of 2013 and we tripled basically since then. Uh, you can see here a uh, Swiss Swiss, uh, uh, Swiss uh, issuer Neontech launched uh, the first Wikifolio of Wikifolios in December. So they're basically taking out the 10 best strategies, put them together in another product, and uh, uh, selling this to the, to the institutional plan. So also very, very interesting uh, possibilities with our platform. So this was also very, very interesting for us, just to show you on, on, on how much impact we already have on the German market. Well, Lange Schwarz, you can see it here a little bit. So Lange Schwarz is the issuer for the Wikifolio certificate. So this is our partner who is structuring the product. We are just a platform at the end. And uh, Lange Schwarz now, uh, in 2014, are number one on the Börse Stuttgart. So basically, they had no index certificates before Wikifolio. So this is purely Wikifolio. We have already outreached Deutsche Bank, Commerce Bank in terms of orders. And this is, and as we saw these numbers, we thought, okay, it's not that bad. We're not, we're not, uh, we're not fully in terms of volume. I think we're number four in the index certificate area. 
but in terms of orders, and this is exactly where we're targeting, it's the PTC sector, we're already number one. So, <coughs> so how is this portfolio being generated, or the certificate at the end? I think it's quite interesting for some of you who are perhaps afterwards want to try out uh, on how this is working. So, as I said before, and just go to our web page, register yourself, um, and then you can directly start creating your first Wikifolio. We have a few different phases in the Wikifolio lifecycle. So the first phase is the test phase. So you can train a Wikifolio and nobody will see it. So if your Wikifolio is in the test status, you can do whatever you want, basically. Uh, you can try out our platform, you can virtually train and, and, and just to get a feeling on how it is working. <coughs> After some orientation time, as we call it, uh, you might then think, okay, I wanna, I wanna publish it to the public and I wanna get feedback on what I did, basically. So you publish the Wikifolio and at this point of time, uh, everyone can find it on the web page and through our search, as you have seen already. Um, and at this point of time, you are basically looking for potential investors. So you have to you have to get a minimum of 10 followers or potential investors. So a follower is basically you have to register at wikifolio.com, um, and he has to give you your vote. So he basically says, okay, I wanna perhaps invest a thousand euro when your strategy would be investable. So. <clears throat> You then have to find uh, 10 followers who say that they want to accumulate investment, that they want to have accumulated investments of two and a, two and a half thousand euros. That's, a, that's a very low entry barriers. So basically, it's just a questionnaire. Is that 25,000 or? No, no, it's, it's accumulated two and a half. So everyone 250 euros. Oh. But at the end, it's just a very small questionnaire. We can at the end not. Uh, if you have to say, okay, I want to invest a thousand euros. We don't know you as, a, as an investor, so we cannot really blame you on giving us the money. So it's, it's, it's just a questionnaire. It's, it's just really investments, yeah. So it's not investment, it's a... It's an intent. intent. It's an intention to invest, basically. It's an intention intent. to invest. So it's a, it's a questionnaire of the intention of investment, basically. It's nothing else. And uh, you have to have 21 days of track record. So this is three, of the three parameters. It's very, very simple. If you've fulfilled these three uh, requirements, basically, um, yeah, you will get in the issuing process as a private user and basically everyone else is, as well, also as a measure. So we will make a full KYC with you. This means you have to send us your passport, you have to send us your, um, your ID. Uh, we will have one to two telephone calls with you where we check again your investment strategy. We will look over your investment strategy from a legal point of view. So you cannot just write in there and make 100% a year. But that's not working. We will keep out all, all of this stuff. You really have to focus on the trading idea where you where again explain of what you're going to do. So for example, if you want to invest in Swiss stocks. In Swiss stocks from the SMI. This might be a very simple, um, this might be a very simple trading strategy. You also have to fix your trading universe. So if you want, for example, just uh, want to invest in Swiss stocks, you have to check Swiss stocks and nothing else. So you cannot then afterwards uh, buy Google or Apple or whatever. So it's also very fixed. You cannot change this anymore after the portfolio certificate is being built. So we do this editorial check and all this kind of stuff. Um, and then... <coughs> And then uh, the information of the new product or the potential new product is being sent to Buffing. It's a German regulator because all the products are being uh, created uh, on the German uh, stock exchange. Well, like, this is a German stock, stock exchange. And the Buffing basically has to give us the bill for every product. So we're not doing anything illegal or in a great financial market. Yeah. Do you limit the investment universe to certain markets like US or Euro? Yeah, as, I, as I said, we have about, we have about 2,000 stocks, which is basically Euro, US, and Asia, but just stocks with, a, with quite a big market capitalization. So we won't have any, I don't know, South Korean gold mine, whatever stuff. 
because uh, this is something where we cannot, if the, if the certificate grows in terms of money, so of, of assets which are flowing in, then of course if you have a, a stock in there with less market capitalization, then at some point blind trust can attach them. So we cannot, we, we cannot get more than we get from, from, from the stock market. Do you define investment guidance and also some risk management for example, not more than 5% allocation on a particular stock or, or not? Yeah, we, we will implement something like that, but currently it's, it's just being written in the trading strategy. Yeah? It's like buy 100% of stock if he wants. Yeah, it depends basically on the trading strategy. If he, if he, if he writes in that just 20% in, a, in, a, in, a, in, a, in one position, but this is also very the problem of, of, of something like that is if the position is changing, uh, if the market, if the, if the prices go up or down, uh, and the position is changing, and he said, okay, I would just want to invest 20% in I don't know in, uh, in a specific stock, uh, then then the problem might be that we would have to reshuffle that, and then that, that's not we're, we're not directly from a platform point of view, we're not directly doing anything at the trading strategy itself. So the, the investor has to look at it and have it's full transparent as, as, as you see, and then you have to decide if you still if you still confident of what the trade is doing basically. But of course there are some there are some key figures where you can see that the, like a like a max for the sharp ratio or whatever where you can where you can limit uh, as a, from an investor's point of view your 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 risk. And I don't have to write hand task question but uh, usually in many countries, it sounds like you're a fund manager, so you have to be have certain training, registration. Sounds like Bafin is accepting yeah. anybody. No, you're not. No, you're not. Basically, you're just an author of a of a model portfolio. You are nothing else. You are an author of a model portfolio, of a virtual model portfolio, and you have licensed your content in terms of trades, comments, whatever, to us as a platform, and we give this content to language Trust, and language Trust might build a product on that one. You don't know, you don't know your, your clients, your investors, no. and we also don't know the investors, because if you invest via, I don't know, UBS, the only thing what we see here is <coughs> via UBS someone has bought whatever, 10,000 euros in a specific product. So you don't know your clients or investors, so you cannot advise them in buying something. So you are basically just from a legal point of view, you're just the author of a model portfolio. And you don't have the money, and we as a platform also don't have the money. At, at, at no point in time. So the money is just being held by the issuer. So you can buy the product by the issuer, that's it. The issuer is standard short. Yes. Can you tell us a little about this? Because not the best known bank in the world. Uh, <laughs> you have all the, all the issue, all the, 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 yeah. the products are issued by the same issue, issuer. Yes. Yes, that's, that's always my, my, my the cordial, but this question is always coming, especially when we are in such a banking environment. I think quite a lot of you are in a banking environment. Um, Trust basically is the biggest OTC market maker in Germany and Austria. Yeah, um, they are the quite famous in basically in OTC pricing of stocks and and stuff like that. Um, and also they are issuer uh, issuer of of, of of these products, we have implemented this project with them in about one and a half years. We today get many requests from very big banks that they also want to do this with us. Then we tell them what they have to do, what, to, what, to, what kind of access they have to give us, what kind of connection they have to give us, because we are, we are fully integrated in the language of trading process. So if someone is basically clicking again a little bit, Go on to, to the screens just to explain to you. This is one of our biggest ones. This is a private user, he holds 9 million in his uh, portfolio certificate. If he's basically reshuffling 10% of his portfolio, there is a hash amount of 900,000 euro. Yeah? So basically, we give in real time, we calculate in real time the perfect hash for language runs in the, in, the, in the position that language runs automatically gives us back if there's the market depth for the for the specific stock. 900,000 euro, a commerce bank perhaps you might place one order with a 900,000 euro, perhaps, I don't know. Uh, but if you have smaller, if, if, you, if he wants to invest in, in smaller mid caps, 
he might already have a problem because he cannot directly go in there with one trade if he wants to place 10% of his portfolio. So <coughs> we make a code request to Lange Trust. Lange Trust gives us back yes, there's the market debts or not. If not, then we're directly connected to the trading desk of Lange Schwarz. So the trade is routed to the trading desk and a manual quote is being generated by trade on Lange Schwarz, which takes normally around 30 to 40 seconds. So we're fully integrated to this, to, to, to this issue. I think we have 16 connections to, to Lange Schwarz as an issue. The big banks, when we tell this, when we tell them the story, and of course they flash their eyes and say, okay, it's a great, great idea. Three, three years ago, they thought this is a crazy idea, now it's a great idea. <laughs> of course, as they can see the figures, what's, to, what's coming in there. Um, all the big issues already it, it came to us and said, okay, let's do something together. We want to, to be the next issue for whatever, Swiss market. And then we tell them, okay, uh, we need this from a technical point, we need that from a legal and compliance point. We also uh, we, we also built the full backend, so we need servers at your and also place next to your servers. That's the next thing. And then they realize on, on how complicated this is what they're doing. So because everyone can reshuffle in real time. So he can completely reshuffle this asset allocation 15 times a day if he wants. It's not end of day, it's real time. And we have to get basically the information back at this specific point of time. So Lange Schwarz, uh, when, we, when we first thought about this idea, four years ago, yeah, about four years, four, four and a half years ago, uh, we were basically the only issue who were capable of doing that. So that's not something, uh, that's not, it's not making them bigger, but they are basically the only, from a technical, from a technology point, not from a compliance and legal point, they were the only one who thought, okay, this might be a very interesting project. And we have no idea on how much discussion we had with BaFin, FINMA, FMA, and all this regulated. Because always when we have to go into a market, and this of course slows a little bit our expansion plans, we always have to talk to the local regulator, mm -hmm. as we're showing ISINs on our platform. And if you're showing an ISIN on our platform, uh, you have to have a license for these specific products to be sold within the country. But are they investing in you or the other way around? Sorry? Uh, if yeah, they are invested in you, uh, uh, yes, yes. <laughs> they have, I think, 5% of our, of our shares, but they just invested one and a half years ago when they saw, okay, this is quite interesting. So, first, they were just partner, uh, issuance partner. <coughs> you can also look uh, at the chart of Lang and Schwarz, they are, they are also exchange listed. Um, it's not that bad. I think we, we <laughs> I think we had quite a huge impact on the business model. They earn on the on the spread, right? They, they, Sorry? they, they, they earn on the spread. On now the, on the speed ups. They, 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 they earn especially on the trade flow we, we generate for them. So as I said before, in 5.3 billion mm -hmm. in, in two and a half years. So they can net themselves basically okay. very, very, very easily. To, to other counterparties. So they are, for example, <coughs> I think we're now the second biggest second biggest trade flow provider for them and you know, have another one that especially they are basically in, in, in Switzerland Lange Schwarz has not has not such a um, not really well known but in Germany basically every online broker every bank is being connected to Lange Schwarz and you can always choose if you want to directly trade via the stock or via Lange Schwarz for the moment so it's cool for four questions <laughs> five questions okay <laughs> Now we are getting into the, 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 the topic. This was just, just a warm-up now. I got a simple one. Okay, a simple one. What type of order types and measure can you utilize? So what type of order types you uh, are there just market orders? No no no, no. We, have, uh, we have we have limit and stop loss orders. Um, I can I can also show this to you. I can I can show this to you on how this normally works. So <clears throat> I log in now uh, with one of my Accounts. I have not an investable one, so this is now just a test wiki folder, but basically it's the same. So this is now my, my test wiki folder, 74%. I am such a great trader. <laughs> Incredible. So this is this is uh, this is now my, my, my trading account, so you can see uh, let's trade Anderson for example there. So I click on the trade button. It's the beam is not that good, so it looks a little bit nicer than you can see here. 
So you have here now the, the buy and sell uh, price. Then you can see in a quote limit and stop limit orders. We just made a, a normal quote order just to show you I want to buy Amazon now. I have to, ooh, I, I don't have that much left in my virtual account. I buy two stocks. <laughs> I'm very aggressive now. <laughs> so you can see it here on how much virtual money. I click here, get the price, and now I have three seconds time to basically finish the price. So I could have bought it now for 351.96. You can see now the, the US market is just open, so a very tight spread. So we're not talking about spread widening or something like that. Um, I again do it, so, so we, we basically fetch trading up, I, I did the trade, and on the confirmation I bought it now at 19.51, at 351.85, so that's it, that's it. And if there's no, if there would have been no money, or if this would have been now an investable, uh, Wiki for you. Then in the background we have checked if there's already the market depth for this order. So depending now on how much assets are following this certificate. So that's it. That's a very straightforward process. So who else has questions? Question you said. Just let the other ones just give the chance to give a question. Yeah. I was wondering about the hedging, how you do that. The hedging on the positions. I mean, here, for example, euro, euro portfolio, but you invest in US dollar company. We have just generated the perfect hedge and give it to the issuer. And the issuer, Lang Schwarz, is a decision market maker. They, they are the traders. So we're just giving them the perfect hedge. If they do not tell us that there is no market depth or if they can fulfill this order, and this is basically their, uh, this is their, their, their thing. So, but the stock is in US dollar. Yeah, you're a Euro company, a Euro investor. Ah, okay, I mean, this way, it's on an ethics way. So it doesn't matter if it goes up or down. Is it one to one, or do you hedge that position? Um, 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 I, 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 I don't really know how Lance Schwarz is doing that. I don't know, I don't know. They're basically, they're basically, um, I think this was now, this was now in Europe? Was it in Europe? Yeah, it was in US dollar. Okay, uh, I, I think that they're basically, they, they hedge themselves, that they, they must hedge themselves somehow. So you get euro performance then. The investor gets euro performance, it doesn't matter what the euro dollar does. In the step, because that's important at the end of the day of your, of your investment. I mean, no, he, uh, the stock can do 100%, but then it can go against it. Yeah. And you have, with, so, as, as everyone, when you are basically investing in a different currency, as mm -hmm. what you have now, you have, we are now in the frame universe, of course. Mm -hmm. If you want to invest in, in a US, Company or, or Amazon or whatever, and of course at the at the buy or at the at the at the point of time when you are buying this stock, of course you have some kind of currency risk. You have then U.S. dollar currency risk, yes. and that's the same here also here. You have a, a U.S. dollar currency risk at this point of time. Okay, what well, I just want to understand to me is just if I buy this, yeah. do I buy the currency movement here or do I buy the underlying stock selection? That's what I was wondering. Because that's, I don't see. If you, if you say it's Shrek from USA, and he buys 10 US stuff, yeah. but is that the US dollar? Yes, it's, it's, it's a US dollar. It's no, that's US okay. Dollar. So it's, basically, it's, it's the trade is in there then? Yeah, of course. It's a, it's a US that's dollar. That's not hedge the position, that's what I mean. No, 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 no. no. Oh, you, okay. you, 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 buy, you buy the home market, basically. It depends now on the on, 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 on stock. But you will see that. You would also buy Nestle, for example, in France, of course. Yes, okay, but oh, that's, oh, that's oh, not oh, hedge oh, position or not. In the end of the day, it's not hedge currency or not hedge. No, no, no. no. Okay. You okay. directly buy the system. The trade would change if he wants. Yeah, of course, he can buy a turbo or whatever against yeah. this. Yeah. Of course. He, he can, of course, within the 54 he, he, he can do that. Yeah. Okay. So that's the thing. Okay. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
who on the one hand built the website and also the back end where these apps are basically being generated. And they are an OTC. They are an OTC market maker, yes. So you can, for example, trade within a weekly folder between 7, and 7 in the morning and 11 p.m. in the evening. So it would not be wise to buy a German stock at 11 p.m., but you can do it. But how can doing market market hours? They're also doing OTC trading. They also quote this uh, quote this price. Basically, all this stuff which is traded on the portfolio. Yeah, but it end up on any chart, on any um, no, no, no. book or anything. No, this must not be the case. Of course, at some point, uh, it depends now uh, on, on on how much trades are. If long enough, cannot net them internally, of course they have to buy or sell at the stock exchange. But it mustn't be that your trade is directly being shown in the order book of the <coughs> exchange because my jobs might have already catched them internally or net them internally. And if the trade for example adds like diamond to this component. Yeah. Then the other charts is then actually buying the stock or is the are they buying the CFD for no, no 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 the stock. If they if they don't have time currently, of course they have to buy the stock. So they are there. again, and this is now uh, this is now an advantage of Lion Trust. Lion Trust is not that big like UBS, Commerce Bank, and whatever. So the risks of them need to be smaller than of a bigger house. So they have been now on the market for about 15, 20, 15 years, I think, uh, and and they make every year they make profit. So also in the very rough years. So they, they are from a risk, from, from, from their risk point of view, they try to minimize risk. So at the end they would directly buy it at the exchange, so they wanna wanna want to have uh, that much open risk. But it's it's a normal it's a normal issue of business. It's it's I think the the people here who who, who knows in this issue of trading much better than than myself. Uh, and it goes to um, the big banks. Yeah. And business models. You mentioned that you have been you. What is it? What is the business model that they are hoping to achieve through you? And then you mentioned that you have a partnership with HSBC. What yeah. is it in that partnership? I will, I will, I will answer this question in a few slides. Then we have a very, very rough partnering model on what we are doing here. Mm -hmm. So. <laughs> okay. okay, yes, sorry. Um, I have a question on the deviation of the past models when the markets move sideways. Yeah. Uh, how bad is it? Because you, you take every time the percentage when it goes up, but if it keeps going up, then. Uh, the funny thing is, uh, our, our traders are much better in terms of outperformance if, this, if the market is sideways or slowly falling than if the market is, is always straight up, like we had the last weeks and months. So the output performance has always been achieved, or the alpha has always been achieved when the market is, is basically, basically sideways. So it compensates. Yeah, yeah. And at the end, currently we already have 2,400 2, strategies. There will always be short and long strategies. So at the end, there's always someone who is just achieving his or her high water mark at the end. So, last question, and I think that we should continue, otherwise we have a few questions. I have a few questions. Should I sit down? I created a portfolio on, on your site, it's very fun. Um, it's good. It's good. <laughs> uh, first of all, the, um, there's some ETFs, like uh, general question, the I had a sector ETF portfolio, but so, funny enough, the oil and gas was not allowed in Switzerland. The stocks oil and gas, but all the other sectors were allowed. Maybe that's a minor question. Uh, another question is short selling. Uh, one of the strategies would be to short sell some of the ETFs that seems not to be allowed on the platform. Yeah, you cannot directly short sell an ETF, we have some short ETF. Yeah, there's a short ETF, but you cannot no, short. No, no. No, okay, no. Is that a feature that will come? No, no, no. No. Prior one yet. to four list, I think. And, and then a, a bigger question is, uh, everything is in German, so... Yeah. Uh, this will be changed within the next months. So we will, we will, we just, uh, we are just, uh, we are just in the middle of a relaunch. So uh, we assume that by the end of, yeah, in the next two, two and a half months, we will have another 
a fresh, uh, modern-looking page, and then we also have, of course, uh, multi-language support. Yeah. So we had so much to do to get this. Basically, the last, last two and a half years, we we made the, the platform stable, and we of course had quite a few technical um, no issues, but of course uh, shortcomings. What we tried to figure out because. If we, we currently, for example, get 150,000 prices a second, and we of course have to update, we have to check if 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 if, if, it's, if it is an underlying if an underlying is being somewhere in the Wikifolio, if yes or no. If yes, we have to update all, all the Wikifolio prices. If no, then we just throw it away. So it's all from a technical point of view for a startup. I know the big banks also sitting in here. The, uh, they have already done this the last 20, 30 years, but we are already, we're just on the market since two and a half years. So, um, so there the will be a relaunch, there will also be multi language because um, yeah, I can, of course, also uh, explain to you what the expansion plans are. We are just we are really looking into Europe currently and perhaps also Asia and US in the next step. So um, let's 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 move on. Let's move on. So, uh, yeah, this is uh, perhaps you've already heard about uh, a few other social trading platforms, as I've already uh, uh, explained to you beforehand. Uh, most of the social trading platforms are copy trading. So, eToro, for example, is the biggest one in the world. They they always claim to have I don't know, three, three million users. I don't know if this. I, I don't think these are act, these are active users. Um, most of them, most of these copy trading platforms are CFD platforms. So you have to, as an investor, have to create their uh, an account. You have to move money there, and so on. And most of them are very speculative strategies. We've seen this now uh, during this Frank Euro thing that not all the CFD platforms were prepared for such a movement, and, uh, and a few of them uh, had to close basically. Like I think Alpha or something like that, um, and and the general business model and these CP platforms are a little bit of spread widening, and of course normally they charge you also for the transaction. So these are the very very active and speculative ones. On the other hand, in the US, uh, passive robo advisor platforms are now really growing. Uh, there are quite a lot of them. Motive is not a robo advisor, but they're basically setting up themes in a bunch of ETFs. Again, at Motif you have to create an account. Um, you, have no, you have basically just stocks. This is not a dynamic strategy, but it's basically a passive strategy and uh, a passive robo, robo We're basically in the middle. And we also position ourselves that we are the active part in a portfolio or the active addition to a portfolio. We, we do not want you to, to, to we, we do not want that, that, that someone is investing all this money in Wikifolios. On the one hand, of course, they are certificates. Generally, you shouldn't invest all your money in certificates. You have some kind of issue risk, as we as, as we have heard, and this doesn't uh, doesn't matter if this line is large or if it is uh, commerce fund. Lehman also had quite a good uh, had also quite a good rating. And uh, so we are the active part. Um, uh, a U.S. blogger called us, I think two or three months ago, some U.S. bloggers, uh, founders, I don't know, or, or we have just a German website. They, they call our business model as the new low-cost active also business model. So, um, with quite low costs generating active alpha in, in, uh, in complementary to the to the low-cost uh, active better or passive better strategies, basically. So we are, we are in the middle and we position ourselves uh, uh, like that. So and now we come to the, to the partner model. This now looks very, very difficult. And now it's quite late. Oh, how late is it already? Am I already late? No, no, you're OK. I think people are enjoying it. It's only got more questions. <laughs> that's good. That's good. <laughs> so anyway, this is our this is our open infrastructure. We are in the middle. So this is our layer. We are the platform. You can see here Lana Charles currently is the only one, is the only issue of the product. You can see currently we have two underlying providers. This is HSBC and Lana Charles. So these are the people who are basically 
um, sending us the, the products what can be traded at Wikifolio. We are already planning that there will be a third big issue in the next in the next few months. On top we have the content creation. We have quite a lot of private top traders, so people like you basically who can who can just directly start uh, creating Wikifolio. And then we have two other groups of people which I haven't mentioned yet. The one group are media companies like uh, financial newspapers, magazines, and so on. They are now basically taking their Worcester depots or model portfolios, and for the first time, they have now the the, uh, the, the, the ability to create a portfolio of it, so their readers can directly invest in their Worcester depots or in their model portfolios. This is something why people are buying all these magazines because they want to know what the what the author is thinking about the market, and uh, quite, as I always said, a quite growing number of professional advisors, asset managers, uh, who now uh, use our platform on the one hand as a marketing platform, but also as a sales channel. <coughs> We're now giving them a sales channel to B2C or retail people what they didn't have beforehand, because uh, normally professional advisor we advise you if you have, I don't know, one million, of you, uh, one million euro of advisable money. And if you just want to invest uh, 2,000 euro, um, they didn't really have an offer. So far, some of them already created their own fund. But of course, creating a fund is not, is, is quite an expensive, it's quite an expensive uh, thing to do. And now here, uh, and the, in the content distribution, as we call it, uh, this is, uh, this is, uh, these are partnerships, uh, what I've already told you, with quite a few media companies who are working together with, with us. This means, for example, we give them our content, like the comments, like trades, like we are generating sentiments out of our trades. So for example, we had 2.3 million of trades, then we can make a sentiment, okay, Daimler, for example, in the last weeks, has been the most traded underlying on our platform. Most people bought them uh, and not sold them and so on. We give them uh, comments and you can see already here two Swiss names like Cash and NZZ. These are the first two partners here in, uh, in Switzerland for the start. We also do some, uh, we also do some marketing efforts with online brokers. We are not the we are a competitor of an online broker, for example. We are basically a new, a new asset class. Yeah? For example, Comdirect calls us. Comdirect is the biggest online broker in Germany with 1.6 million clients. Comdirect calls us a new asset class. Uh, at the end, for the online broker, it doesn't matter if, he, if, the, if the investor is buying stocks or if he's buying the portfolio. Um, online, broker, online brokers tell us that Someone who has a Wikifolio in this uh, deposit or in his account uh, is much more active than someone than he had been uh, than, uh, than, 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 he, than, than he was before. Due to the transparency of the Wikifolio, some of the investors are then directly buying the stock itself, so they have the, 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 they have the Wikifolio in their in their account and then also trade some of the positions what our traders on our platform do. This is nothing where we really gain money out of it, but of course it's very nice for us that the transparency thinking is or the, the, the transparency is linked to um, to a week before you. Professional advisory institution, which is started with real tech, as I already said. We had, for example, with BlackRock iShares last year um, an ETF cup where we, where we looked for the best ETF traders within a week before you. We're also quite successful, and of course, for the Stuttgart Lange Arts of this market maker, these are these are uh, our normal, these are our, 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 our main partners. So this is basically the thing what we want to achieve in every country. So in every country, we want to go in there. We want to get some media partners. We want to get some online brokers because at the end, we're still a startup and quite a small company, and of course. Uh, we cannot afford the marketing spending as others have, and now we want to, we want to have media companies and online brokers participate in our success because they then, of course, get the revenue share out of what we achieve in this specific country.
Yeah. Good small question. Does your fee fee model change for private traders or professional advisors, or is it the same always with performance return? Yeah. Um, the private traders, uh, is, the private traders, is there not allowed to 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 make sale for for the product? So they are just allowed to, for example, post a link to the wiki folder, but they can, but they're not allowed to show the IC, for example. They just get the performance fee, or they just get the part of the performance fee. Uh, professional advisors and media companies are allowed to show the IC, so they also get a small amount of the certificate fee. So because they they have they're also doing sales for us basically. <coughs> but the, but the overall fee model for the investor always stays the same, of course. The, we we do not uh, we do not change anything. So we have we don't have a higher certificate fee for professional advisor wiki for you. It's always zero point nine five. Yeah. You plan to progressively lower the, the performance fee of 195 when you do a little sale? No, no, the, 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 certificate, the certificate fee always stays the same. So this is always the same for everyone. And the performance fee is basically being, being locked by the trader. So the, so the trader... That, that was my question I meant to you. As a firm, uh, like in five years from now, when you grow much bigger, you plan to, to lower it. Which might be, yeah, might be. We, we, we might also think about Wikifolios of Wikifolios, what we're currently already doing, and then we might all, all also think about just putting them into a certificate, but perhaps also put them into a fund, in ETF. So, but this is this is the next step. So we have now attracted quite quite a nice sum of assets, basically, and the next step, of course, will be to think uh, which product we need for specific markets. For example, if we want to go to the US, then certificates of structured products are not really the best way to do it. And you said one of the traders that make a trade that is real, uh, real banks publish there. How do you prevent a replication of someone's going and trying to do the same? For instance, buying the umbrella one and waiting the 95 plus the 5 percent you will not be you will not be cheaper by your broker. You can of course do that, but you have, every time you have transaction costs when you when you want to copy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but the trade between really discount on that brokerage model. Yes, that's you still have to that's the, that's the, that's at the end. This is yeah. We, we can't prevent this because if we would prevent this, then we wouldn't be that transparent what we are. So there's no delay. In no. In the no. There's no delay, and. We are quite active traders, so normally it doesn't really make sense because you might not have the same prices. At the, at the, so you're not, you're not, you might not get the same prices. Definitely not. So that's it. But we can prevent it at the end, of course. That, that many people also. <laughs> I, I have many discussions with uh, professional advisors from Germany, and, and some of them told me, yeah, sometimes they just go up to the portfolio, just looking for new ideas, for new trading ideas, and then they do it and, and, and on their own. Uh, in their own uh, accounts, yes, okay. But again, this is perfect for our brain because mm -hmm. then we get a wiki for you in the hands of all these people. And at some point in time, they perhaps then buy that umbrella just for the case. <coughs> it's, it's at the end. It's it's nothing we we, we want to hide. The trading log information that you publish, yeah. For those investable uh, portfolios, yeah. that is the actual trading price for all of the investments. Yeah, this is the price for the for, for the for product. So for the I mean, but, you know, when the trader is changing the allocation of yeah. the portfolio, and you see what what he has bought and what he has sold, yeah. these prices you see, they, that, those are the prices achieved for the whole sum of investments. I mean, if I have my team investments, if he buys a stock, yeah. and it's not just the core of the government, it's really for all the, that, that fraction of my million was bought or sold at. Uh, you, you, I, I think you cannot, for example, if when you want to reach out to Amazon, you won't get one trade. Yeah. So you can see all the different, uh, all the different parts of trades, of course. You can see all the orders. Okay. So there might not be just one price of those, but there will be several ones. You can also this is also funny. So if you wanna if you wanna know in terms of transparency, it's, it's always nice to show. Um, I can uh, I can uh, you can also download for example if you're not if 
we are really paranoid and we, you, you think we are doing something not transparent, you can also download in an Excel file all the fees we deducted from the from the product. So here you have a call cost, so you can see it like that. I click on that, I open that, and then you can see on one hand all the trades, and you can also see the dividends which have been which have been uh, added to the portfolio, and we can also see when the last time. So we deducted certificate fee yesterday. In the last time, we deducted performance fee on the 16th of, of March. So this was the time when we had the last uh, high watermark reach. Yeah. Um, so your one of your um, best models is to get this uh, performance fee. Yeah. What is your strategy um, for your incentive versus the trader for the trader? when something like 2008 happens, so for example, the, the high water marks are out of reach for most of your portfolios, um, trading has no incentive to actually continue trading. Now we have uh, the, 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 the high water mark is reset once a year. So oh, okay. this is once a year reset. So this is, this is also this is something we had to do because of this. Mm -hmm. yeah, of course, this is the one. And the second point why we had to do this, and this is not uncommon, but also in hedge funds or whatever, we don't know the exact time when the investor basically buys the product, as we don't know the investor. Yeah, if you are if you're, if you're a, 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 a professional advisor, of course you know when your client basically buys things, and then they can always say, yeah, there's no reason. Yeah, of course, but they charge them in other ways. Do you have a daily rate to charge performance? No, we check it on a daily basis. Okay, but on, you have, on a daily basis, you have the more fees being accrued. Uh, yes, if there are some, yeah. yes. If there are yeah. some, yes. I will not So it goes up, up, up. So, yeah, so for example, here you can see the last time Waterman was 129.91. We have now 129.10. I don't think that he will reach high Waterman today. But if it goes to 130, then you will charge yes. today. Exactly. So, so these performances, this is also very important. These are, these are net performances, so, uh, so all the fees are already deducted. So this is pure performance in the If you want to talk to a imagine that you will not reset, you could launch a new weekly volume if you want. Uh, and I know a lot of hedge funds and funds, that they have no, no possibility to recover to the high water marks to the closest share and they launch a new one. Yeah. But they do it start from the beginning if you want to get. And you could do that actually. Yeah, but uh, it wouldn't make sense because we don't have track record enough. So it wouldn't really make sense. Do you also tell us? Um, yes. Uh, so for yeah. yeah. uh, yeah. 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 example, exactly. So if the trader says, okay, I don't have, I don't want to, I don't want to have this product anymore, then with a normal daily system process, we basically take over the, the portfolio, we sell all the positions, we, so that the investor doesn't have. Uh, uh, doesn't have any profit or losses or whatever, uh, and that is a normal aliasing process. So you can you, you, you then you won't have a buy price anymore. So you won't have an, an, uh, um, a big price anymore, and then just a um, ask price. Sorry, and uh, you won't have an ask price any, anymore. You just have a big price, then, and and uh, the, the product is then being days within a few months. But there is there are no losses. We, for example, also had uh, one trader who, who died. Of course, we already had, had this uh, uh, this event. And then, again, it's the same thing. We just have to check if this really happened. And you always have to, this is also very important. Uh, you do not just see the trader's name, you also see his full name. So if we, for example, the plus, so the trader name is plus big. And if you click here, then you can see the full name is Dick Hagman. This is also very important. Yeah? So we always show the full name. And some of the traders who are very famous in Facebook communities who always say that they, they, they go wrong and they don't want to give the mind. They do not want to get an open phone because they wouldn't be full transparent. Yeah. So that's not what they want. So this is this is also very, very important. And also some, some traders also said, okay, I don't want to have my name here, and they will say, okay, yeah. Then your platform. Yeah. Do you have a list or have some process for certificate uh, or to size? No. If they don't give you 2,500, they just say? 
which is there. We have a few, we have, I think 60% of our certificates have, uh, have, uh, have assets inside. That's a very good number for, for this year, especially for, for German issue. Normally, I think Deutsche Bank uh, issues 10,000 products a day. Yeah? And I think just 15% of them are really being traded. So 60% is good. It's, it's uh, cool. Yeah. Is the performance of that change? The sales are the year at 100. Mm -hmm. It goes up to 200, mm -hmm. and then it ends the year at 100 again. Mm -hmm. Are you still charging the performance fee? Yeah. So, so it's on a daily basis being charged. Yeah. So it's, it's a cool day. It's yeah. not a provision. No, no, it's, 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 it's a good day. So, um, 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 uh, let's let's see. I, I don't want to spend too much time on the slides because. Uh, so, yeah, this is uh, very important. Uh, we, we started in Switzerland with strong partnerships, not strong, strong partnerships. This is a typo. So, uh, you can I, I can show this to you. This is much more. I like this, I like this real time approach. Uh, so, if you, for example, now uh, on the cash point CH. On the one hand, you can read here an interview with the founder. Then we have here a Wikifolio mod, uh, module uh, where we show the best performing or the best Wikifolios, however. So these are typically media company partnerships. So we implement content there. We have a rash of share model. So you can click now here and Cash really did it an outstanding job to implement us. And this is just phase one, so you can directly see most of the information you find on Wikifolio also on cash and of course you can directly then buy and sell the product via cash as an online broker. Great work Google. <laughs> again, again. Um, so this is for example one of the implementations and uh, you can also find us currently on the home site or the front page of cash uh, of NZZ. Again some kind of content modules we are placing in there. So these are very strong partners for a Swiss launch. And uh, we are looking forward to have a huge impact there. We have already seen a few traffic figures from the day. That's very, very nice for us. So this is, this is one of the, as I said before, we really believe in a strong partner network. And this is something we, we do not want to position us as a competitor or whatever. We always want to find partners where both of them um, have a win-win situation. I think it's a very, it's a bullshit win word, but I think from our point of view, it's a, it's, it's the correct expression. Um, yes. So we started here in Switzerland with two really big brands, which gave us, of course, um, some trust in the, in the as I said before, Leon Tech also made a product out of it. Yeah, we were just, uh, just for the starting, quite very interesting. We've looked before a Swiss start on the most traded Swiss stocks. You might read that it's EV Biotech, so EV Biotech is the most traded stock so far on, on the portfolio. Afterwards, Nestle and Transocean was a very interesting, very interesting selection. And you can see here, EV Biotech was mostly bought and not sold, and so on. So we were also generating some of these kind of sentiments. From our point of view, we believe that these kind of sentiments are much more valuable than if you're looking into Twitter feed and try to mm -hmm. find out what the Twitter feed means if this transaction is now buy or sell. Because we can directly link it to volume, of course, and uh, we can then generate valuable information on it. So this is the Leo, Leo Tech Tracker Certificate on Social Trading Index. I think they have. I think exclude our derivatives awards or structured product awards in Switzerland, and they have nominated this product uh, for this award. Mm. Um, it's basically a select, they take a selection out of 10 Wikifolio strategies and they reshuffle it monthly on a monthly basis. So they have a few parameters where they, they grab these things together and then make a selection out of, out of, out of it. Another content marketing format on our list, I just picked for it. Finanz 100, we're fully integrated in Finanz 100. It's uh, the, the, the most downloaded it's German um, app, financial app, very good, very, very, very good one. So, so uh, in terms of... Is, is your content for sale, like the one you saw for the... No, we do not want to sell our content, we just want to have... Uh, no, I mean, not, not here, the, the one about the... Uh, 
I wait for the third one up. This one? No, the sword, the one about the Swiss uh, biotech index being. Uh, this this one? one? Yeah, that type of content. Is that no, we are not saying we will try to find partnerships. So if you're a bank or a media, yeah, media, say, media. That's very good. Then we might talk <laughs> afterwards what we can do together. But we yeah. currently we're not selling. We might also sell the content, yes. But uh, I think it's much more valuable if we have them content models like I've, sh I've shown you before, and with, uh, where then where, where we are integrated over a longer period of time. I'm not such a fan of banners or whatever, which are just yeah. there for a few days, but we just want to really uh, have long-lasting partnerships. So. Um, these are some of our professional advices or asset managers uh, what we have on our platform and ah, yeah, company structure was quite very interesting because currently we have 13 employees we have tripled since May so we are just in a, in a growth modus, uh, mode currently uh, you can see here also the shareholders might also be interesting. So, Verlags Gruppe Handelsblatt have already uh, have invested, uh, I think, three years or four years ago. Where we just have a slide deck, uh, there was no product. So they gave us quite a, they were quite, uh, we, we made quite a trusty uh, presentation there. This is an Austrian, an Austrian uh, VC. Brian Schwarz has already told you business engine and management. Um, offices are in Vienna, this is our headquarters, and also have a small office in Cologne, but nobody, nobody is sitting there. So it's just an office. Um, and currently the plans are basically out of Vienna. We want to, we want to start operations here in Switzerland. Of course there might be that if this is really if this is really growing, then we might also think about an office here in Zurich. So that's it from my point of view, from, from the presentation point of view. Of course, uh, any questions are open, and uh, I will be there I think, for the next hour. Oh, I was going to say, guys, I know there's lots of questions, but there's also a bit of pizza, I'm sure people like that, and <laughs> stretch their legs. So, first of all, thank you, Stefan, for. say a very quick word to wrap it up. Uh, thank you to Impact Hub for having us here today. It's a great space and we all come back. Um, thank you as well to the CFA Society of Switzerland who was kind enough to host us here on, on their membership. Um, and thank you as well to all of you who have come out again tonight. Um, I see a lot of familiar faces, but I'm not sure if everybody knows. Uh, it's a great mix of people here today. There's academics, there are startup founders, there's experienced entrepreneurs, people from all sorts of different industries and investors as well. So I encourage you to all get to know each other and, and mix together and, and have a good time. We're here, uh, here for another 45 minutes.